yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah, flex, I just wanna win, yeah, LABB who we running with, yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah, state your name, big been dope on flame, I just switched the lanes, damn he did it again, I just flipped the pain, stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything, Swimming, you shaking away, cause I got big racks coming, I put my low racks on it. Hi guys, it's Abhinav Maluru from Fire Llama, and I will be reviewing the Technic Land Rover from Lego. And this is, if you've seen my similar video, the Porsche 911 RSR, this won't be having a build time lapse, only a review of the box, the instructions, and the set. So, let's start with the box. Lego Technic, made for ages 11 and up. Set number 42110, and it's the Land Rover Defender. 2,573 pieces, which is a great deal for $200, because you're getting $50 free pieces, uh, free pieces. Land Rover licensed, dimensions. Next up, moving on to the wheels, which I'm a big fan of. They look really nice. They're custom Land Rover wheels, unlike the Porsches, which is just like from past Lego cars. The actual set, Technic trademark, I guess. I don't know what that is. So next up, moving on to the back of the actual set. It's got the rear view of the car. Got some features like the steering. Uh, there's like a whole like storage thing on the car which you can take off to make it look better. It's got showing off the two storage boxes, showing off the four speed sequential gearbox the high and low gear selector and the drive neutral and rear gear selector then we got the dual shock suspension which is really nice because it's a tall car it feels really nice to press on and the uh, straight six engine which i'm a big fan of because it's really visible so that is the box oh wait let me show you the side sorry guys next up lego technic the model similar to the porsche so that is the box here's one last look at it let's move on to the instructions here's the instructions guys um and there's a land rover logo on the front digital content content code a beautiful model presented on a beautiful terrain looks really nice and good presentation lego technic 42110 and let's get into the inside of this so they're just this qr code Shows all the what, what each bag bag section is for. So one makes the rear transmission and a rear wheel system. Then comes the whole front engine part and the seats. Then you start plating two thirds of it, and then the last part is putting the wheels on, finishing details, and the, plating the front of it. And then there should there's a lot of steps for this one, a lot more than the Porsche. Not like a lot more, but quite some more. I think like 850, Eight, yeah, 860, 860. And here is the Land Rover Gallery rear view. It talks about all the transmission, gear selector, and it shows all three of them here. It shows the steering, the engine, the top, suspension, the boxes. Oh yeah, and, and I will get to this feature once we get to the car. And that too, this is the winch, the famous winch of the set. There's like a towing thing where the Land Rover can get towed. So I will show you that in the, all in the car. There's a lot, plenty of features to show. And then a showcase of all the new Lego sets, parts list, and the back. So that is the instructions for the set. Let's move on to the extra pieces of the set. So I've organized all the extra pieces I get in each bag section. So on bag, the bag one section, you only get these four extra pieces. Like, they're pretty small. I don't think these you'll need very much because they're all internal and you can't really lose these. So mostly just spare parts to like make your own creations. And then we have bag two, which has some, one piece for plating, I guess. That could be useful in the future. And some other pieces, which I don't know what they're for. So that's bag two. Bag three, a lot more plating, so this has a lot of useful pieces for the set. Bag four, just some internal pieces that you might not need, but good to add to the collection. So that is the extra pieces set. I mean, ex extra pieces collection in this set. 
which are not too much or not too less. So it's like perfectly in the middle. So now let's move on to the model. Abracadabra. Here is the set, guys. The beautiful Land Rover Defender. It's pretty well designed. Even though it's only 2,500 pieces, it's like really well put together, unlike the Porsche. But that is a thousand pieces less, so I guess I can't really blame it. And let's get into the details. First up, I'm gonna start with the front section. So they did the lights really well. They look just like the real car. This is, the, I'll give you a view of the front. That's the front. And let's get into the flat, the straight six engine. Sorry, flat six is from the Porsche 911. So you could just open the front up just like that, prop it up there. And that is the flat six engine, which moves while you're driving. And uh, I can show you. Let me just change the gear really quick. like slowly changing you guys can see so that is the land the land over changing um engine moving and then let's move on to the winch which you can see right here you might have already gotten a sneak peek all you have to do to pull it out you take you see this red lever just hold it down and then you turn this black thing you just keep turning it oh it's not coming out oh yeah it, it does come out but yeah once you you have to keep this red thing held and then keep spinning this black thing and it will you can take it back inside so that is the winch one of my favorite features of the set that is basically the front oh yeah and i need to show you the suspension which is really nice best in any technic model i've seen really springy the back is a little more responsive it's very nice the front is a little Bad, but it's definitely better than most Technic cars suspension. The, the doors are very well designed. They open all the way here. They're not really flimsy at all. It just it has that satisfying car door click. And the rear view mirrors I really like, but I wish they put like an actual mirror here. That'd be really nice. So let's move on to the seats. This is the front seat and the interior. And this has the same feature as the Porsche. You turn the steering wheel, the car turns. And this time, this is the only Technic set that has had a steering from the this, um, the top, which is really nice because it's more playable to turn. And yep, that is that. There is a ladder just for decoration, representing the real car. There are traction mats, which you can like use to display. Just put like the car's wheel on it, like that. Something like that. I think they just add good display to the top, in my opinion. And here's a case here, which you can store stuff in, which I stored some coins. <laughs> I don't even know, don't ask why. Another storage system here. And that is the top. Next up, moving on to the back. And this is the feature I said I'd show you guys. The wheel basically, it's like spring loaded. You just turn it and open the trunk. Like you can't, you, it's like the lock to open the trunk. And then inside reveals the transmission, which you can see more clearly. If you fold down the seats and you could see the transmission. It's a little dark, but yeah, that is the, seat, the transmission. You could put down the seats, close the trunk right up. And that is my review for the whole Land Rover Defender. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time in another video. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LABB, who we running with? Yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on 10 again. Yeah, state your name. Big been dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in base. Slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it.